Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another speed build. So for today's speed build, I have remade Willow Creek Park. I know I already remade it, but uh, I made it again. <laughs> I didn't like the other one that I'd done. Like, I'm recreating every single world in The Sims 4, as always. Obviously, this idea is inspired by Little Simsy. So I did remake Willow Creek Park before, but I just didn't like it. Like, I don't think I put as much effort in there as I could have put in. So I went in, I've deleted the old lot and I've made a new lot and I am 100% happy with it. Like, I'm so, so, so happy that I've done it. It's got no custom content because for some reason I thought I'd start the builds with like custom content and just have a list of everything that you can download but then I thought no <laughs> not everybody's going to want to download custom content so I'm going in and I'm removing all the custom content from everything and Willow Creek had a couple of things where it's like yeah it's kind of cool like if people downloaded this custom content you know it would enhance the game but obviously not everyone can or would want to install custom content because I know it can sl slow down your game not slow but yeah so it's honestly it's a completely different vibe like I kind of kept a lot of willow creek park before but with this one i've completely changed it like he's got he <laughs> it's got all these townhouses in it and i really think that they turned out beautifully i was gonna leave them more simple like you've seen on the screen but i go in and i add like a lot of detail like a lot and they look really really good i'm really really happy with them i think it's just a really good build overall it's very structured like it's not that free if you know you'll see what i mean later on but like it's got very specific paths and things like that you can't just free roam about the park which to be honest i think fits in with willow creek a lot because willow creek to me is like the epitome of suburbia and very like hormones association and things so i think it fits in a lot with that and i just honestly like i would play in this park in my own game 100 percent, 100 percent. and if you don't want to wait for it to be like released with the my full save file and everything you can download this off the gallery if you type in willow creek park you'll be able to see it and probably be able to see it better than the screenshots at the end but you know that's that there's also like toddler stuff included in it as well so it's got all the toddlers things obviously if you don't have them packs you're going to need to replace them if you download them but one thing that this made me really realize that i miss is swings and just things for kids to play on in the sims 4 because i feel like there's monkey bars and that's it like it honestly is i'm not exaggerating by that but that is literally all that kids have to play on well i suppose that you know the pirate ship in the middle there's that i did miss that but like just the whole jungle gyms and slides for kids and sand pits and everything it's really lacking in the sims 4 and i think i think they're kind of missing the playing dynamics of the audience because i think that the think that like the the team um that people that play it just have adults and focus on the adults careers and like yeah adults are a main part of the sims like i think i spend the most time like making them and things like that but i make the adults to have babies and i think a lot of people well i know a lot of people anyway ha like enjoy that same kind of playing style because you can see it with everybody's lps like the most popular LPs, that's the kind of thing that's in it a lot of the time. And there's just not enough stuff for kids. Like, I, I'm at a loss for things to do when I have a kid. The kind of just background noise when there shouldn't be, they should be like at the forefront. And also, I'm thinking about making a video. Let me know if you want to. It's not going to be me playing The Sims, it's going to be me talking about The Sims. Because I was watching the English Sims video last night on things that she doesn't want to see in The Sims 4. And I think I might make that style kind of video, but obviously not exactly the same. Just things I wish that were included in The Sims 4, things I wish that weren't included in The Sims 4, that kind of thing. So let me know if you want that. But yeah, also as a side note, I know I'm talking a lot about building in this one, but I've been doing it all day. Um, I'm kind of, well, this isn't directly about building, but I will get onto it in a second. But yeah, I've been kind of stressed out lately because I start uni again tomorrow and he's already know, he's already know that I do not want to go back to uni. Like it's my last semester of my entire university career. So obviously I'm going back, but I just don't want to. I don't have the motivation or anything like that. And I've been kind of stressed about it. And then I was like, you know what? Like, I need to upload less Sims videos to focus on uni. And then I was like, no, I don't need to upload less Sims videos. Like, this is my pride and joy. I 100% enjoy doing this. So I'm not going to upload less Sims videos. I was just kind of like, I need to stop being lazy. I don't care if I haven't got motivation. I need to find it from somewhere. And I need to literally every single second that I am not, like, literally at work or at uni in a seminar, 
devote into like my dissertation um making sims videos doing essays and things like that instead of, not that i do it anyway but instead of just like lounging about because you know sometimes i'll record a video have a half an hour break and stuff like that but you know for these last couple of months i think i really need to push myself further so that's what i've been doing all day i've been recording i've read like a book to do with my dissertation because you know my dissertation presentation was a disaster so i'm kind of changing my, what my dissertation's on so i've done all my reading for that well not all of it but i've started it but you know i've read quite a lot so i'm kind of feeling motivated now and because i've you know i finished what i needed to read from the book and things i just loaded up the sims and i was building lords and i had a really really good idea because i was like how can i make the world that i'm going to make different than like little simsy's world or different than i don't know any other kind of things like that and then i thought hmm i'll add a bit of nostalgia in it so what i'm going to do as well is add some like long lasting families from the sims 2 maybe even the sims 1 i don't know but you know the timeline is kind of skewed in the sims 4 so i don't want to mess it up because we've got the goths but one family that i really really miss is the broke family so i've made the trailer for that i think there'll be a speed build of that going up maybe next week i'm not sure because i have a lot pre-recorded um but i've also included the pleasants and things like that i'm going to add some in oasis springs like the smith family maybe the i think it's the grunt family and for i don't know if i'll do for oasis Spr yes i shall for oasis springs i'll do the i can't remember which family it was the montague or capulets but you know i'll do that one for oasis springs and i'll do the other one for Winterberg. so it's kind of like you know i think that's one thing that's missing in the sims 4 which is why i enjoyed the sims 2 so much like the actual deepness of it like those stories had me hooked when i was playing the sims 2 at like what eight nine ten year old like it was so deeply entwined there was so much drama and it even went past towns which is like the sims 2 and the sims 3 you can't travel to a different town i, I don't think anywhere no you can't it's been, definitely not in the sims 2 you can move to a new town in the sims 3 but the sims 2 for it to like you know extend past pleasant view and be interlinked with strange town it was just oh my god it blew me away it blew me away so that's what i'm going to do and kind of make it have that link that the original sims towns are missing because yeah there's the pancake family and things like that but nothing's really that deep for me like i don't know, know who the pancake family are they haven't been there since the sims 1 they haven't like been there since the sims 2 and stuff like that so i'm kind of gonna reintegrate these dynamics and things like that and i'm i'm having fun with it i'm having fun with it so far and i hope that you will too once he's played with the save file but i'm putting like loads and loads and loads of work in to make sure that i can get the save file up and out as quick as i possibly can so anyway that is coming to the end of the video i hope you enjoyed the speed build i am really really happy with how it turned out and i've put some screenshots in so you can see them and i'll see you in my next video